think it's not the first time that somebody puts the chips on the table. First time put chips on the table. I would say um, it's possible that in 2015 uh, we could have at least maybe a slots parlor. More likely 20, 2016. So, you know, but that's only two and a half years to, to, to three and a half years. Do you think that uh, uh, lawsuits could the uh, Absolutely. So, yeah. so that's three means. That's just always a risk. I mean, this is, you know, part of the reason we're trying to be so committed to the transparency, to the fairness of the process, is so that everybody knows what the rules are, um, and nobody feels like, you know, they need to sue us. But uh, and that there's no impropriety in the, in the process, so we don't get hung up with lawsuits. But as you know, this is a litigious world and a litigious business, business, and it's always a risk. Estimates on how many people statewide could be employed in this? Yeah, um, give or take, if we get all three casinos and a slots parlor, you can generate up to 10,000 construction jobs and up to 10,000 permanent jobs. Uh, I think that's FTEs. Um, you know, I think it's you know it's meant. It's, you know, most of these are going to be full-time jobs. Yeah. And what's uh, now you're undergoing the, the what was the word used? The evaluation, basically, of the background the, checkers, background suitability checkers. tests. You yeah. did say those are being done by an outside. We will probably outsource those. Um, they are a very big deal, and it takes real sophisticated skills to do the financial analysis and the, the criminal analysis and the international foreign corrupt practices analysis. And we don't have the resources in-house to do it, so we'll probably outsource that. So they haven't started yet. No. When is the filing period closed? Uh, it'll be middle of January uh, for people to um, fill out the background check forms and give us their non-refundable $400,000. Um, so it actually starts, we don't. We haven't actually distributed the background check forms. Uh, they will go out in the middle of October. But we are starting to receive the application fees. Oh, they're giving the fees before the fund? Yeah, yeah. Because they want it, once they give us an application fee, <coughs> excuse me, they can uh, start to work with state agencies you know, to talk about how we're going to deal with traffic, how we're going to deal with environmental problems and so forth. So the ones that are really moving quickly have already put their money down so they can start working with state agencies to get to get planning. Yeah. Well, did I hear you correctly say there's really been only interest from <coughs> one site in the state of that suck it down? So how was that? There's only, there's only one active applicant group that we know of at the moment in Eastern Mass, uh, which is the Suffolk Downs group. There is a possible slots parlor in Plainville um, at the at the Plain Ridge racetrack. But as far as a full-blown casino, the only active site that we really know about in, in Eastern Mass, which as I said includes Worcester County, uh, is in uh, is Suffolk Downs so far. We hope there'll be more. And in Western Mass, you said you're looking at four or five so far. Yeah, there are four in Springfield itself. <laughs> and then there's one in Palmer. And I've heard that there might be one in Chicopee. So there, there's a lot of action in Western Mass, and we want that same action in Eastern Mass. It just doesn't make sense for all these companies to focus in on a market which is a much smaller market. You know, what do you think they're doing? Destination, you were talking about making, making destination. destination resorts. Is it just more room out there for hotels and get people away from the hustle and bustle of well, eastern Boston? I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's one of them. There is a theory about putting them in rural areas. And, of course, that's near to New York and near to Connecticut. I mean, there would be a good catchment area there, uh, you know, in Hamden County. But... Um, but I think I don't know why it is. I mean, we're 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 puzzling over our, over ourselves. We're spending a lot of time trying to make sure the markets know, the financial markets know, and the casino markets know that this is a level playing field, and, and we're supporting uh, supporting competition. Yeah. Okay. I that, like the region, by the way. Oh, it's great. I've been out here many times, but it's great. Yeah, it's great. great hey, name. what did you do? Just a little background on you. What did you forgive me for not knowing? What did you do before? It's in, it's in the, uh, that little program. But uh, I was dean, before this, I was dean of the McCormick Graduate School of Public Policy at UMass Boston. 
Um, and I've been, I've been in private business for 25 years. Uh, I served as Secretary of Administration and Finance for Governor Salucci, um, Chief of Staff to Governor Swift, owned my own companies many times, so you know, I've got a lot of different... Yeah, Thanks very much. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Great. My pleasure. Thanks. Nice to meet you both.